everything. Thank you. Hello. Is it, uh, no, it's the same thing that I've had the entire time. I googled spooky music and this is what popped up. <laughs> One hour of spooky music. Um, Molly and everyone, um, I hope you are having a good week. Um, my name is Galaxy Graves and this is the Cackling Cauldron where I gather a bunch of women around to talk about nerdy things, spooky things, horror things, and more. Um, tonight with me, I have, again, Miss Hacksaw Jenny, as well as Island Jamie Lee. <laughs> hey, Mike. Um, who is uh, one of my lovely friends here on the island. Shocking. Uh, and once again, we have Miss Angelic Tofu, who is one of my lovely moderators and friends. So... Hello, hi. We are here today to talk about the chilling adventures of Sabrina, um, which is a comic book series that Jenny is going to probably be the one that's going to have the most information on this since that is her literal career. <laughs> um, I can't remember what year the comic came out, but it was a few years back, wasn't it? Um, honestly. It in comics because so many things come out on a weekly basis so yeah. I have a very hard time remembering how many years it's been since stuff That's came fair. out. That's um, fair. Yeah. I can always find Yeah. Google is my best friend when it comes Google to Google is such a great thing. Oops. Okay. 2015. 2015, yeah, that's what I thought three years ago. Okay, look at me being right. Yay. <laughs> um... And uh, it was it was done and brought out after the success of Archie in the Afterlife, which is where they actually killed off Archie Andrews and uh, brought him back as a zombie. Um, then this year launched a uh, ten uh, it was the first season of the uh, Chilling Adventures of Sabrina on uh, Netflix. Um, I don't know what network it's on because I don't have cable, so I don't pay attention to that oh, kind of stuff. It's not. It's, it's not. It's only on Netflix. Okay, I wondered because I had not been expecting it to drop with all ten episodes because um, I assumed it was going to be a weekly serial because that's what Riverdale is uh, on. Done in part with Netflix. It's partially funded by Netflix, but it's on the CW. So, um, okay. So we're going to talk about those, but first I want to kind of like touch base and and just kind of do a little nod to you and sort of clear the air in regards to Sabrina the Teenage Witch, because a lot of people are like, oh my God, they're rebooting Sabrina. And that is absolutely not what this is in any way, shape or form. Um, the original series was, yes, based on the character from the Archie comic books from back in like the 60s and whatnot. But it's a happy-go-lucky series. This is strictly based on the new, like this series, this TV show is strictly based on this series of comics that came out in 2015, which is a much darker, crazier line. Um, and while I absolutely loved the the ridiculousness of that show when I was a teenager, um, it was very happy-go-lucky, bubblegum, poppy adventure fun whereas this is a much much um while well, there's still humor in it it's a much darker kind of series um in both the comic and and the um the television show um which is true to archie's as well they were all happy bubblegum yeah la -la. yeah uh, until they decided to like do a sort of new series line in the Archie comics, but not in like the actual little like Archie Digest things that you can buy in, you know, the grocery store, but like yeah, the actual really comic nice. series. Um, hey, Tofu, welcome in. Um, with that, just noting about how the difference in between, did any of you guys watch the, um, the Sabrina the Teenage Witch series, which was on ABC in the 90s? Yeah, not you, Angelic. I know not you. <laughs> yeah, not me. <laughs> <laughs> TGIF, uh, yes. I was raised by hippies and didn't have much television, so no, I've seen like bits and pieces. Okay. But not actively. Okay. So this wasn't like a big drastic shock to you to watch that the new no, series no. that no, oh, okay. That's gonna be actually kinda nice to have someone that's not really, you know, have that in the back. And as well as you, Angelic, there's a couple of you guys who haven't seen it here. So that's kind of nice. Um 
Okay, so why don't we start with Jenny? What can you tell us about the comic book series? Um, well, I remember, so I read Afterlife with RG pretty mm-hmm. religiously, and it was a surprise hit. It was one of those things, though, where it came out really slowly because they had, I guess, some licensing issues with mm-hmm. the imprint, so they had to make a separate horror imprint for it. Um, once that happened, though, uh, I think it was the sixth issue of Afterlife with RG had a really good side story, uh, mm-hmm. like a one-shot about Yeah. Serena. Um, because she is the person who sets off this whole line of events for Afterlife mm-hmm. with Archie, where there's zombies and stuff, and it's because she did a spell um, to try to help someone out. So And it didn't go quite right, did it? That. Yeah. It did not go well. <laughs> um, but it tells her backstory, and it had a, like, a really Lovecraftian twist to mm-hmm. it. And then because of the popularity of that, um, that split off, and they did this series um, mm-hmm. of comics 2015. Mm-hmm. Um, so I just remember it, it was very popular. We sold out of the first couple of issues mm-hmm. like, immediately. Um, and That's awesome. It that, makes me, since then. that makes me so happy when that stuff like that happens. I didn't even remember that this was a thing. It's oh, like a look, at, I can see you right through there. Yeah, <laughs> Um, but I have all of the comics here if you guys want to look at any of the art that's not included in the trades or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, well, we have, I'm, I, this came actually in a uh, Humble Bundle. So I gave an e-copy of uh, the first oh, cool. volume to um, Jamie and Angelic so that they could get to read it, even though Jamie tried very hard to hunt down a physical copy. <laughs> Yeah, we're as soon as the show came out, we sold out of all the trades again. Um, it was like sold out through our instantly yeah even before the show actually came out basically yeah. like once the trailer dropped yeah then stores were buying so many of yeah them that it was hard yeah to and get. we'll we'll watch the trailer here in a bit before we get into more discussion about the show and the versus the 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 comics and everything yeah um, um sorry did you want to go over the plot or do you want me to no you go right ahead cool um yeah. so real quick basic not too many spoilers version of the plot is that it's about Sabrina Spellman. she's coming up on her 16th birthday and when that happens, it means that she has to make a deal with the devil, basically, in order to fully become a witch. Uh, but because she's half human, half witch, it leads to some issues where it's more or less like these two different sides of a coin fighting for mm-hmm. who's going to get Sabrina. Uh, mm-hmm. And a lot of really dark things happen in this, much more dark than the TV show, in order to make that happen. Mm-hmm. Um, is there uh, anything you can tell us about, um, like the the art artists specifically that were working on it? Like anything that kind of stands out to you, or any of the, your favorite pieces, or anything like that? Yeah, or um, covers or whatnot. It was Robert Hack. Um, mm-hmm. Previous to this, he was doing the covers for Afterlife with Archie, doing variant covers for mm-hmm. it, and that's where I first started to notice his art. Um, and then he did the art for the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina all through mm. it. But I do, I really like his style for this because it's, I, I believe he does everything digitally, but it has a really, really, um, like traditional mm-hmm. canvas painting mm-hmm. kind of style, almost mixed with a little bit of collage. So it's a very interesting art style that works really well. Uh, with the with the darker side of things. Sorry, I have to go find my dog. That's Here. okay. You go. You go. <laughs> you go hunt your dog down. That's that's important. I'm just gonna mute myself for a second. Okay, no worries. Then. Um. Okay, so let's go on into then. Um, talking uh, to you, uh, Angelic and Miss Jamie. Um. What were your first impressions of the comic book? Um, um, go ahead. Um, well, my first impression was that Zelda, the name one of the one of the aunt's name was Zelda. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, there's like, Hilda and Zelda. Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings but, from beyond I mean, it was the very grave. dark to start out with, like. With the print, like the colors in the comic, and then just the atmosphere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely very dark. What about you, Jamie? What was your sort of first overall impression? What was like your first thought when you started into the comic? Uh, I like the old school vibe to it. Like, the, I, the only real comic I actually read growing up was the Archie's that you can buy in the grocery store. Mm-hmm. And I had a big, huge collection. So they seem really similar to that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, the I, set yeah, in the 60s really and whatnot. 
Yeah, and same with like their clothes and the vibe of it all. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't expect that it was going to be satanic, same with the show. <laughs> and it was going to be dark. I just didn't know it was going to be that dark. <laughs> You're welcome. I love you. <laughs> no, it's all good. I, I, I was like, okay, we're going there. Uh, all right, Jenny, you can, <laughs> you can pick up where you left off. Oh, um, oh, about Robert Hack? Yeah. yeah! I don't know how many other things he's done in the past. Like, previous to that, all I know is variant covers. Okay. He's had a... Whole um, series to himself? Uh, let me just check that out. Though. Okay, yeah, for sure. Adventures of... Resser being a borky bork boy. That's all he ever does. Um, <laughs> walk earlier. Oh, I can see his little face in the corner. <laughs> He's trying really hard to get up here because I probably have a subway. Yeah, I, just like gave, I just gave Jack to my sister and was like, you're keeping him on the, a different floor. <laughs> <laughs> all the pets, take them away. I know. I just... Yeah, it looks like mostly just variants. Variants. Oh, that, that's really awesome. So this is pretty much his, um, his first major like work. Then that's like a solid yeah, series. Like, he got hired a lot just for doing variant covers mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, his deviant art is just full of like little um, pieces of art that he's done as like commissions for people and stuff. But they're almost entirely horror things. Like he does a lot of Elvira comics right now. Oh, really? Do you have um, that open in front of you right now? Can you put it in the chat yeah. for the link? That would be super yeah. great. Oh, oh crap. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> Hold on. Send it to you on Discord and then no, I can just do this super quick. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. Okay. Is that not how that works? I don't know how to do my own things. I don't know. Oh, yeah, maybe just send it to me. <laughs> um, however you want there. There you go. It's in the Discord. Okay. And then I can stick it here. Oh, beep, burp. Uh, Is that Bubba Ho? Oh, my God. It's the Bubba Hotep yeah. Army of Darkness crossover. I'm so... It makes me so happy. So a lot of this is Sabrina art. It might be spoilers for mm -hmm. people who haven't read okay. it. Okay. Um... Yeah, there's even a cover there for Her Infernal Descent, which is actually written by my friends Lonnie and Zach, who are from Vancouver. Ooh! Let me just make sure this works. Heck yeah! All right, there we go. Wow, look at all this stuff. Yeah, that's art. amazing. Probably how we got to start. Yeah, well, I mean, that's just for me, that's a whole another hour of time that I'm going to spend scrolling through all that. But anyone can take a look at it there if they would like to. Um,. Now, like, then speaking to, like, your actual issues and everything that you have, is there, um, like, some of the, the variant covers or anything that kind of sticks out that you, like, really liked? Uh, for these ones? Yeah. Or? Yeah, because, um, like, we didn't, we wouldn't get a chance to see any of that stuff any, as well yeah, being on the, on the, the digital version. Um, so this one I just... I yeah. didn't even realize until now because I haven't opened it since 2015 <laughs> uh, that it is a cutout on the front with the house and then on the mm -hmm. inside it's got I'll, I'll take it out again and show you guys oh, again, thanks, I appreciate that um, here we go Whoa. Uh, this gorgeous piece of art on uh, the interior I love it with Madame Satan oh, in the back I love and, that. Um, all of oh, the pictures along the outside I love yeah. the way that uh all the characters are drawn in here is so similar to how they are in the show, which is a whole thing I want to talk about. The casting was great. Uh, <laughs> the casting is fantastic. Really but yeah, we'll get into that later. Um, so then it's like very plain, but I liked the mm. like silhouette of the color. That's what we have is the cover for the digital copy. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Um, this one is probably one of my favorites because I love Madam Satan. Yes, there. oh my god, right? And She's Again, so the casting was just oh my gosh, so amazing. so good and on point to to the the characters in the comic book. This one, I mm -hmm. love the colors again. Like, yeah, this uses of reds. Yeah, reds and out. and gray scales. Yeah, yeah, and I liked how they carried that over into mm -hmm. the show as mm -hmm. well. Like, Green is always wearing red almost mm -hmm. all the time. 
Um, this one's cute because it's all, she's like reading classic horror comics and she's got a, <laughs> a Rosemary's Baby poster on her wall. Yeah, the Rosemary Baby thing. Um, God, what was I going to bring up about that? But I'm not sure if any of you guys have seen that. I'm probably, yeah, you've seen it. Um, Jamie, probably not. Even, no. no, no. And Angelic, probably not. I'm actually surprised I didn't have that one make the cut into October's movies. Um for horror and stuff like that. Uh, and then this one is actually number six, which is not included in the first yeah. trade paperback. The damned cat. Oh, damn. making numbers seven through mm -hmm. or whatever. Um, this will be included in that. Mm -hmm. It was the start of the second arc that we just didn't continue on. Uh, yeah. It hasn't been canceled. Oh, shit. It's just been years and years and years. Whoops. That was my bad. Sorry, guys. I just covered up your face with Twitter. Um, yeah, so the, that's the covers that I have. There were other covers for mm -hmm. them, but I opted for these ones because I always like my stuff to match. Yeah. But I think they had some variant covers for it. Yeah. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to pull up the, uh, the trailer for uh, Sabrina in a moment here. Um, so we can, so that anyone that's sitting here can see what we're it is that we're talking about with the show, and then I have a few sort of starting starting off points about um, just specific things that we can talk about within the show and the difference between that and the comic book, um, and uh, and uh, opinions on that sort of thing without really getting into too much detail uh, of plot and and storyline and and spoiling it for anyone. I, I did something really bad to Jamie a couple of years ago, and she's never forgiven me. I never will. <laughs> oh, Galaxy, how could you? It you was, mean to me all like, the time. eight months after the movie came out. You can defend yourself all you want, but she'll never forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> get mad at, or will have people get mad at me for spoiling things like Suspiria or whatever. I'm like... The movie is from the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiling the new one for you. You've had how many years? <laughs> okay, uh, window capture. Uh, yes. No, that's not right. I did it wrong again. Anyone in the chat from my stream is going to be like, "Yes, we've seen the Sabrina trailer like three times already. <laughs> she made us watch it." I love it. We're gonna put this here. We're gonna make it this big. No, we're not. We're gonna make it like this big. How am I gonna do this? I'm trying to figure out how I can do this. Nope. Edit. 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 edit properties. Okay. Um. Nope. This one. Yeah. This one here. And we're gonna move it over here. Oh. oh. My key. My key on my keyboard is stuck. That's not good. That whole, hey, get yourself a new keyboard and mouse thing is starting to really kick in here soon. Woo! Yeah, hopefully it stays like a decent quality the way I'm doing this. All right, so we're going to just fade here. Oh, oh, that's fine. Um... Oh no, no, no. Hello, doggo. I got this. <laughs> Show yourself. What's your dog's name? Oh, this is Russell. Hi, Russell. He just attempted to eat pencil shavings. Oh, yum. And I came. I'm so sorry if he's making noises with the mic now. Oh, this is a clip. This is in the trailer. Good job. I know exactly what I'm doing. I mean, it's the cutest kid. clip of the familiar. What's your name? Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. Okay, hold on one second. Where did the trailer go? Sorry, guys. Ah, uh, there it is. Barbara, huh? Barbara Kinkle, the only person you're gonna scare is yourself! 
Oh. Got gotcha. you. Good night, Harvey. There we go. In the town of Greendale, where it always feels like Halloween, there lived a girl who was half witch, half mortal, who, on her 16th birthday, would have to choose between two worlds, the witch world of her family and the human world of her friends. And that girl is me. Are you willing to forsake the path of light and follow the path of night? It's very tough and true. It's very tough and true. I can't do this. You must. That's down to Lila Sabrina. You're going to die, Asprey. Girls, girls. Let's not be catty bitches. Hmm? You're a rebel, Spellman. That's how I like my witches. I'm not an evil person. But these are desperate times. My name is Sabrina Spellman. And I will not sign it away. Would you like to do the honors? <laughs> With pleasure. Rise. 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 It was on Hilda. She annoyed me, so I killed her and buried her in the yard. Zelda! So, if we go into it and we talk about um, the casting, maybe first and foremost, um, which I think was done so fabulously. Um, and the the one thing I noticed about Serena, though, is oh my god, does she look like Nega Oryx here on Twitch? <laughs> like, yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, so I've had so many people apparently, or she's had so many people be like, oh my god, it looks like you in this show. Like, And she's like, well, now I have to be here next year for Halloween. Yeah, no kidding. Um, but the casting is extremely on point. The only thing um, I noticed in the first episode, and I don't know why, and somebody else mentioned it too, is that Hilda looks like yellow and orange. <laughs> Yeah, she does. In the first she episode? Got so much tanning. Yeah. She oh, yeah, tanning yeah. She had some long. bad makeup. Yeah, it was absolutely horrific. Um, and, I mean, it got better. So I don't know what happened if, like, she had, like, got some burn or something. And I believe this is, is filmed in Vancouver. Yep. Yep. <laughs> As per usual. <laughs> um, besides, I can't have those kind of forests. Uh, anywhere else. Anywhere else. Like, when you see a forest <laughs> like that, you're like, yeah, that's where we were. Yep. In the Pacific Northwest somewhere. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's here. <laughs> um, and, and Sabrina was done really well. Um, I mean, I'm sold as Harvey as the character he is. I think they could have probably cast a better Harvey in my mind, but I don't, yeah. I think they wanted to sort of get away from the jock Harvey. Yeah. Even though that's who he is in in the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, um, the comic book series, he's still a jock and a football player. Yeah. For me, I always saw him as kind of a bit of a dork anyway. Yes. But I yes. have a hard time with uh, this particular Harvey Kinkle because I can't stop thinking about Jeffrey Dahmer because he played Jeffrey Dahmer in My Best Friend Dahmer. Oh. And so every time I look at him, I'm just like, Dahmer. Why are you dating Dahmer? <laughs> Dump him. Not worth it. Don't See, I haven't watched that yet. I've been meaning to watch it for a while. So, I mean, maybe it's a good thing that I hadn't. Yeah. <laughs> and I'll watch this and I'll be like, Harvey. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you murdering so people? <laughs> I mean, if it had been blonde, at least, I wouldn't have been as upset, I think. 
Hmm. Because hmm. in the comics he was blonde, right? Or am I yeah. just going crazy? Well, no, I mean, no, like, in this yeah, comic book series he was blonde, yes. Yeah. I think yeah. taking away the football player aspect gets rid of some of the genericness of him. So he's not just yeah. another jock, he's not just another football player, he's not mm-hmm. just another whatever kind of guy. Yeah. So maybe eventually, because I've only seen the first two episodes, mm-hmm. maybe eventually he'll have more depth. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I, I can say I do I think that his storyline that is a little is developed a little bit more later on because of that he's just not just like the popular football player. Yeah, um who's gonna stick around and not sign a contract with the devil for some jog guy. Yeah, it's like, well sure, I'll sign a devil and then I'll just make him love me even more. Like the, <laughs> Um uh, And then when it comes down to let's see, okay, so there we have Zel- uh, Zelda is played oh my god, brain fart. She was in Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah. Ah. Oh. Wait, someone pull up IMDb. Which Thank you. Zelda and Zelda. I keep getting them mixed up. Zelda is the tall one. She's always the serious one in uh, the oh, ants, the pair of the ants. Okay. Whereas Hilda is always shorter, plumper, and much more bubbly and warm and loving. Do, 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 do. What is her name? Miranda Otto? Thank you. Thank you. I should have all this stuff in front of me, but I 100% don't because I, um, yeah, I I was very busy shoveling half a pot of macaroni and cheese in my face before we started. The ants are the only two actors so far that I recognize. Again, I've only seen the Mm -hmm. first two, but I'm sure there will be more. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, And then we have, uh, we go and we have the Weird Sisters, which are Prudence, Dorcas, and Agatha. And can we just talk about this name Dorcas, by the way? Dorcas? It, I mean, it's spelled D O R C A. Kind of like she sounds like Orca. It sounds like Dorcas, which is D O R K U S. Yeah. Like, what a Dorcas! Like an insult. Like, as is that yeah. just age me? Or, like, no, I just I don't understand why they decided to use that name. Honest to God. Because the other two have like relatively normal names. So uh, Agatha and Prudence. Yes, exactly. Like, mm. I wonder if there's significance to that name. Um, so I, if they were trying to go for a witchy name, there are a lot, million other better, like, choices out there. So that's bothered me from the start. I was like, did she literally just say Dorcas? So she did. Dorcas and that is, Maximus? that is not her last name. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Um... Uh, and and Prudence, like, I I'm completely in love with her character. Oh my God, yes, I would let her, her do aesthetic. terrible things to me. She's the best thing about the show. Oh honestly. my God, she is honestly my favorite thing about the show. I just I just want the entire show to revolve around her. Like, <laughs> do bad things to me, please. No, on the way home, <laughs> I was thinking about that too. I was like, can we just have? Prudence, the teenage witch. <laughs> she is amazing. Absolutely amazing. She absolutely steals every scene she's in. She's just fabulous. Um, and yeah, 100%. Even if this isn't your thing, it's just to watch the show, to watch her character and that actress do her her work. Her it, It's just so amazing, her craft um, that she has and her talent that she has. So that is like my main draw to this show right now. Um, oh, okay. Um, and then uh, her her little backup sisters, whatever you want to call them, they are all orphans that uh, go to the Academy of, of Unseen Arts, which is where the witches go to school, um, which is where Sabrina is supposed to go once she signs the her name in the Book of the Devil the Dark Lord of Satan, which means we get to talk about everyone's favorite topic right now. Satan. And Gareth Bach to love that voice. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is a big deal to a lot of people is the fact that the witches in this universe are all servants of the Dark Lord, a.k.a. Satan, a.k.a. the Devil, 
whatever you want to call them, whatever else. And they're all basically signed over and they work for him and everything like that. And so when Sabrina signs her book and because she's half mortal, she has the choice to either serve or and go for the path of night or say goodbye to her witchy ways, which will slowly fade over time and go on the path of the light and stay immortal. Um, this is causing a big stir um, in in. Okay, so I'm going to have to <laughs> sort of level myself off here. Witchcraft has become a very pop culture thing. It's become a trend. It's become a fad. It's not a lot of it's a bunch of crap and a lot of it's not real. It's just a money making grab and it really makes me cranky. That group is really upset that now witches are being associated with Satanism in this television show. So like the new agey, the new new agey people, Sephora yeah, people the Sephora that, that, like, oh my god, I want to put a hex souls. on you, like, let me Ooh. like light up a million sticks of incense and own fifty thousand crystals and not actually know what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. kind of people, um, yeah. those people. Um, also, a big problem is now the Church of Satan is suing the CW. Well, so it's the, it's not the Church of Satan. It's something I'm going to, I'm pretty it. sure. What is it exactly? Can you pull up the article here? Yeah. You know what? What I might do actually, Jenny, is the Satanic Temple. Thank you. I figured you'd know the answer to that. That's the one. Yeah. Yes. I was talking about it the other so, day. So because of the statue that they've got, the Baphomet statue with the children looking mm -hmm. up of it within the school in the show. Now, everything that I know from studying art history and everything I know from studying law tells me they don't have a foot to stand on except for the fact that court systems work differently in the States. And when you're trying to sue someone, you don't have to prove they're right or wrong. You just have to prove that you're more right. 1% more right than the other party to win. That's it. It's a it's done on a balanced scale. Okay, so... What is it they I exactly was, have a problem with? They're saying that they copied it and because of how it is, it's going to give them a bad name. But didn't they have, like, they commissioned someone to make that as a piece of art for them to do a protest. So if they paid someone to make this for them as their mm -hmm. property and they copied it, it was like literally one of those, hey, can I copy your homework? Yeah, sure, but make sure you change it a little bit so it's yeah. not obvious. Yeah, here's the thing, they though. Made, like, the kid's a tiny bit shorter. So and, it's like, a statue that a little they bit made? Bigger. Yes. The thing is, though, is... Yes, that was that was a commission piece. You're right about that. But however, when it comes into art pieces, that is not the only thing out there that looks like that or similar to that. It was the only things they changed were so the height of Baphomet mm -hmm. is bigger. The height of the children is a mm -hmm. little bit shorter, and there's a symbol on his chest that is mm -hmm. just a little bit larger. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's enough well see that's what i'm like, saying though is because like you don't have to prove whether you were wrong or right or you did it or didn't do it you just have to prove that you're just a little bit more right than the other party when it comes to civil cases like this so so the satanic temple has a problem with it because they will get a bad name yes. in regards to this um, yes so this um they think they will like, yeah the satanic temple is like a protest group offshoot of mm -hmm. satanism um which one of their core beliefs is do whatever you want, but don't harm anyone else. Everything with consent. Um, and the, I think you would know by like the second episode mm -hmm. of Sabrina, maybe it's the third, that something is said, something happens that mm -hmm. is technically breaking consent mm -hmm. in terms of being cool with the devil. Um, and... <laughs> And I like how you're very carefully tiptoeing around the plot here in the storyline. Really hard to it for anyone because I can't remember what episode that was. But, yeah, um, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, as as someone who is a pretty firm believer in Levi and Satanism, I was like, that. Yeah, that's gross. And so I can yeah. understand why the Satanic Temple and Satanists would be like, yeah, no, that yeah. makes us look really terrible. But, yeah, like well. And I get, and I do, and I get that, understanding that. And also my, to, to lack of a better phrase right now, my job here is to play devil's advocate to, you know, to, <laughs> <laughs> I really can't think of anything else to say right then. Um, so, oh, hello. Hello, pupper. What do you think about Satan, Russell? I don't know. 
he can't really. But he means this. <laughs> um, okay, so the thing about this for me is, um, yeah, that whole consent issue that you're talking about, 100% was like, holy crap, what are you doing? Holy crap, what is any of this then if this is what this is going to be? This is like yeah. going to sound so vague, you guys, and I'm sorry. It's like we're having our own private conversation here without any words. Um, but in the the way that I can see the storyline progressing with Father Blackthorn, is that who it is? Blackwood. Yeah, Blackwood, Father Blackwood versus Sabrina's father, because they were both heads in the church. Um, I see that is a two different storylines, sort of like they want to really show how different they are. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how far in you guys are. Well, I, I finished the series, okay. like the television yeah, series, like but I've only read volume one of the there. of the comics. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's definitely like they're just trying to really, really show the two different sides of Sabrina to her like good side Catholic girl side and mm-hmm. her quote unquote bad side mm-hmm. worshipping side but um yeah I think that was just to like further prove that like mm-hmm. this is or or even more so that certain characters yes. uh, that are following the path of the night are yeah. not good characters. Yeah. And that doesn't make the entire Group of group witches, bad. bad. Yeah, that like that's that's kind of what I'm getting trying to get out there yeah. without saying things. <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> this is good practice. It's good practice because this probably won't be the last time I do something like this. Um, well, setting that sort of topic aside for a moment, um, let's talk about something that bothers me about the show, but I think they do it and handle it really well. Is the fact that Salem doesn't talk? Yeah, I, was kind I of wondered upset about that too. I thought maybe eventually he would. Well, she obviously talks and she can hear him and understand him. But we don't get to hear his voice. And that made me sad. Not just because of this original TV show, but because he talks in the comic books. And I think all familiars do communicate back to their humans. Yes. So why don't... Yeah, the audience isn't isn't in on that. Yeah, I mean, I think they handled it well in the show. But, like, it seems natural enough. But it's, it's disappointing to me. It's very disappointing to me. Yeah, I think they were probably a little worried about going, like, full camp. Yeah. Too far into the camp. But if you had a talking cat, they'd be like, no, this is too far. And yeah. If a talking cat, cat, do we then have to have talking other animals like spiders, etc.? Mm, right, because, yes, other familiars are brought into it, it yeah. you know, so. Um, but, yeah, that's and just one thing. I was just like, yeah. he doesn't talk. It's a little sad. A little sad. Even in the comics, he was communicating. Yeah, it's a lot easier to write it out, though. <laughs> it's a lot easier for things to be super cheesy in comics. And yes. Really taken seriously. Yeah, exactly. Because it's 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 a different when you're bringing it in it when you're bringing it into like a full live action kind of setting. Um, uh, interestingly enough, isn't uh, the lead actress allergic to cats? She is. Yeah. Yep. I was listening to a podcast with one of the writers, and mm-hmm. she was talking about the. The things that they had to change kind of on a whim day to day, and that one of them was that just they found out one day, yeah, Kiernan's allergic to cats. Now we can't write as many interacting with the cat scenes, or we've got to change all the interacting with the cat yeah. scenes. Yeah. It's like, oh no. Yeah, so that that's a little, that she didn't know until uh, they started filming. <laughs> that's insane that you've like spent your whole life not ever touching a cat. Right? Right? Like, I can't even imagine that. I don't know. It is. Um, another thing uh, is uh, Lady Satan. Love her. Love her. Oh, I love her. So good. <laughs> so good. And cast so well. Like, when I, yeah. like, look at the character and drawn in the comic book and I look at the actress who's playing her, I'm like, you are the same okay. person. 
so that is 100 the thing that sold me on this because i was mm-hmm. really nervous about them making a show of a comic that i really liked i was like oh yeah i understand yeah. this is not gonna go well and then I watched <laughs> the trailer and i saw madam satan walking towards the screen mm-hmm. i was like she's perfect her hair is perfect her body type mm-hmm. is perfect her face is the way she's a little yep. bit more aged yeah like, and the and the 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 jaw the cheekbones cheekbones, cheekbones. Yeah, thank you she and also she's herself. just like straight up a hottie i looked at, i had to look her up on imdb i was like how old is this lady she's she crazy. that actress played doctor who she was one of the masters yeah. yeah yes yeah i knew i'd seen her before yes yeah um so a w- a wonderful actress and and so good and they have kind of wiggled around that that sort of storyline a little bit a little bit from like the the comic book to the to the television show as well as um which i can kind of understand because you know you don't you don't want it just to be like literally smack the storyboards onto the screen and be like all right there's the exact same thing you know um but yeah i absolutely adore her and her character and how i'm so curious to see how that's going to play out because of her origin story and her past relationships with the spellman family (laughs) i'm just trying to dodge wasn't that explained in the comics or are we just trying to be super big yeah it was explained yeah, I'm trying to be super vague for people in general without okay. if they haven't either read or watch it. Like, I don't want to be like, well. By the way, she was dating someone. Who knows? Um, yeah. No, I think out. they did a good job of that, like dropping the little tiny bits of stuff into the TV yeah. show without being too forward about it. Mm-hmm. And open for future stuff. That they can Absolutely. Do. Absolutely. Um, and then. Uh, where was I going to go from that? I had a, it was right. Oh, can we talk about in the show right now? Can we talk about the high school kid and the representation that is in this show? Um, Sabrina's best friend is, uh, a woman of color. Her other best friend, Susie is, uh, well, she's Susie. But she gets bullied constantly because she's a bit of a tomboy. And, um, you know, she has horrible things happening to her. Um, you know, boys pulling up her shirt and and so forth and so on. Um, as well as uh, Sabrina's cousin, Ambrose, in the house, is an actor of color. As well as, um, I read somewhere they said he's pansexual, but I don't know if he's pansexual or if he's just gay. I haven't read anything about that. I know mm-hmm. um, the actress that plays Susie uh, mm-hmm. is non-binary. Okay, and that's kind of how they're they're bringing her across. Actually, in the show, is yeah, she, she's I just Susie. Her. You know, she's, she's Susie. Yeah, yeah. So she's, she's, if she's, she's a he or she, yeah, it's um, just Susie. Yeah, that they um, they purposefully did that casting wise to mm-hmm. leave things open for any potential that could happen with that character Mm -hmm. so that they have someone who actually knows Mm -hmm. what it's like that is so amazing yeah yeah um i read an article with uh with them Mm -hmm. that was talking about how the the writers were hoping to have Susie come out as trans in the second episode and they were like no (laughs) no way that's not how it happened oh that would have gone over like a freaking blood um, Blue, they, no. They talked to the writers mm-hmm. and were like, you know what, I think this is too soon. This is what I went through. This is my journey. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe make some considerations there. And they yeah. Not it. That, thank God for that. Um, what, yeah. uh, Jamie and Angelic, what were your opinions like with the, the diversity in the casting and stuff like that? How did that sort of... Well, I actually thought Susie was trans. So... Okay. <laughs> But I actually really like the... Oh, shit, sorry. Duggo number two! I was happy to see the diversity. Also the same thing in Riverdale as well as there's homosexual characters Mm -hmm. in Riverdale. There obviously was never in the original Archie's. So similar, they're bringing more of 2018 to these shows, and I really, really obviously love that. Yeah. Well, I mean... 
in the in the Archie comics, like the actual comic series, not the 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 digests, um, they yeah, brought right. Kevin in like years um, ago, years in the uh, '90s or something yeah. like that. Yeah, that was in uh, Life with Archie. Yeah. Just, oh, okay. Since I didn't read those canceled, ones. But. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, Kevin's been around for for quite some time actually. Um, cool. But they brought they bring in like Moose, you know, in 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 Riverdale being um, bisexual. And actually, in um, Chip Starsky's Jughead comic, mm-hmm. I'm very happy to say uh, he wrote Jughead as Ace. Yes, he did. Um, so which has been a, 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 a huge bit. debate over the fact that the whole Jughead and Betty thing, because Jughead is supposed to be asexual. That's where I stopped watching Riverdale. Mm-hmm. The Bork Boys. <laughs> <laughs> But that is a huge thing. And, like, well, Riverdale has been good. I think Sabrina just, like, really leveled up the representation. Um, Absolutely. For for people of color and, and for for um, gender or non-binary or however you want to choose to say it, um, as well as, you know, sexual orientation and everything like that. I think that's really fantastic. Moving from that. I'm not going to get too into it. I did tweet something about it the other day. Uh, you guys definitely aren't there yet, Jamie and Angelic, but can we just take a nod to the BDSM? Or I totally even oh. just... In this show? I'm not there yet. Okay. I'm not there yet, but I'm excited for it. <laughs> Holy crap! I was not expecting that. But, so, without saying not that, just a, l- a little warning, if you do decide to watch it, that comes up. That after episode eight, I can't remember what it was. I, I bet, it's be. yeah, it's um, I did yeah, see your tweet about it. Went, oh, interesting, yeah. <laughs> something to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm um, watching tonight. I mean, um, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, oh my goodness, now we have to find out what this is. Um, yep. anyways, yeah, I just it just it just took me out of left field, and I was like, well, all right, then. I mean, they don't show anything, well. They don't show anything. Um, I thought that any sort of sexual situations that have come mm-hmm. up so far and what I've watched were done very well, very yes. subtly, uh, and, and almost lovingly. Like, it's yeah. just taking the time and care about the situations mm-hmm. to address them in a way that was, like, adult without being, like, adults. You know? Yeah, yeah, or else are being, like, you know, <laughs> that sex jokes <laughs> um anyway so then if you guys i didn't realize you hadn't actually finished the series yet jenny oh yeah i only have two, two yeah two more episodes to go yep um have they said if they're coming out and when they're coming out with more i have believe it's seen- already been renewed for another season yeah it already got renewed for another season but we have no idea when or where or how or why they've started filming no. because the filming schedule for riverdale and the filming schedule for sabrina go up against each other yeah so they finish oh. a season of riverdale and then they do a season because it's all the same writers yeah uh, and right. a lot of the same directors i'm very so- curious to see what happens because in the current season of riverdale which comes out as a weekly serial on netflix um Things are getting very much into the supernatural and and sort of mystical sort of things. And I'm curious if they're going that way to leave a possibility of some kind of crossover happening. Um, That's what I was curious, too, because I started watching this season of Riverdale and had the exact same thought. I thought, okay, is this going to cross over or isn't it? But I still don't know the yeah. answer. Um, so I was, again, listening to a podcast with one of the weed writers who came mm-hmm. on like the third episode mm-hmm. of Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. She said that Robert, the writer of the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina comic and writer for, I think he writes for Riverdale and Chilling Adventures, wanted to do a crossover originally and then they got the green light to go ahead with a full series, so they did that instead. Um, Um, So, there is still a potential for it to happen, and then the other thing they were talking about is that um, there's a potential that when and if uh, when or if, probably mm-hmm. when Riverdale gets cancelled. Uh, <laughs> if we know it's coming, they're gonna do It is like getting that. so ridiculous, like... Yeah. It's bad. Um, but no, uh, they're planning on doing a afterlife with Archie. <gasps> I don't know if it'll actually happen, but they're like, this would be really cool if we could do this. Oh, an actual one. I know that, like... Yeah, that the, they wanted to make it darker because 
they didn't want to, but they didn't want to go like full zombie, <laughs> yeah. right? So well, they. And if it's all in the same universe. Yeah. Like, I think they. I don't know. I think. I think having like. Um. My God, what's his name? The dad. KJ. No. Oh. No, the dad. Not Skeet. The other one. From nine oh two one oh. Luke Perry. Thank you. Um, you know, I was like, is this their influence? But because this this really feels like trashy nineties teen shows. Like it, it just turned into a soap opera. <laughs> well, I don't like... think they have a bigger picture for plot. I think no! along with even their pants, they didn't realize how popular it would be. They're like, oh crap, people are actually watching. Um <laughs> Let's let's do this. Let's do that. Um, yeah. What'll happen if we do this? Oh, I don't know. Let's, let's try this. I don't know. Like it's really. I don't, know. I don't think they have a bigger LARPing. end game. That's a good idea. Let's it's, do LARPing. They're LARPing. <laughs> That's what I heard. The most recent episode is about LARPing. What? I'm I'm gonna actually watch the the latest one that I saw. Well, I mean, because yeah, I'm not gonna get into it, but yeah, there's it's all about like a role playing game, like sort of a Dungeons yeah. and Dragons s game and stars. Stuff like that, yeah. So I'm kind of watching it because I'm just curious. But the latest episode, they actually have all the characters play their own parents back in like the 80s or whatever. Yeah, I haven't yeah. seen that one yet, but yep, that's the newest one. <laughs> they didn't get other actors to play them; they just play their parents themselves. Um. Anyway, back to Sabrina. Um. Okay, so we've covered the the. <sighs> the casting and the inclusivity of the casting and diversity of the casting. We've covered um, a bit of the Satanist stuff, um, which let's see. What did Bike say here? The, the Satanic Temple is an aesthetic or atheistic aesthetic. God, I hate that word. It haunts me. It haunts me so much. Um, atheistic organization in favor of equal rights and separate between church and state. The Satanic Temple is suing for use of the copyrighted image and associating it with evil. Um, again, yes, and they only need to prove within reasonable doubt that they are in the right. That they are the, you know, whatever there is on their, their, um, their application to the courts. They just have to prove within reasonable doubt, which is like a certain percentage over one way, that what they're saying is true versus even if the other people are saying is makes sense that theirs is just a little bit more correct than the other ones to actually win their case. So I'm honestly, I don't see it going through and winning to be quite fair. Yeah. It's almost like a, he said, she said, mm -hmm. like, yeah, no, it's know. not going to be enough. They're going to have to pull out some serious stops to do that. And I honestly, I, I mean, I, I understand where they're coming from. I do. But like I said, my job here is to play devil's advocate and sort of talk about both sides. Um, yeah, the only way I can see them doing that is if they really, really push the, these are the ways that you're causing our... our har yeah, like this, you have caused us this kind of um, our, our reputation harm, and yeah. they have to have the proof of that, and they have to have the proof of the fact that they've caused the monetary harm, um, as well as, oh my god, reach into the back of your brain to school! What's the third one? See, I don't do, I don't do, um, I did mostly business and family, so I don't, civil wasn't really my jam. Um, so it's an interesting yeah. precedent to see, like, yeah, oh, well, I'm, I'm really curious to see how it plays out, because I can't understand why they would do it. Um, they already, because not many people are gonna, like, look into who, who they are and what they d actually do and actually stand or for. they're not, they're, they're not what they Satanists, they're just they're not devil worshippers, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, yeah. No, I, mean, I, I 100% know. To have people on Twitter every day being like, <laughs> "I worship Satan, you're the devil, opposite of God." And it's like, um, well, yeah. Actually, but like, uh, how many times can you well actually? Oh my God! Well, it's Twitter. The limit does not exist. <laughs> Infinite. Well, actually. <laughs> um, but um. Yeah, so I'm definitely very interested to see how that all plays out and everything. I will be trying to keep tabs on it a little bit better than I have so far. Um, and, and be able to do updates on that. Um, now, Jamie. Yeah. Hi. Um, okay, so 
you finished the comic book today, correct? Yes. Okay, and then um, overall sort of generalized opinion as someone who, you don't read a lot of comics. No, I don't. No. What did? How did you feel? Was it easy to read, easy to navigate, sort of? What What were your feelings on the whole thing? I still want to get my hands on a physical copy, and I, it was easy to read on my phone. It was just mm -hmm. the size of the print on my phone. Um, yeah. But it was... It was uh, approachable, even the topic being darker than I thought it would be. That mm -hmm. was fine. It was very readable. Mm -hmm. um, it was all well laid out. Like the the switching between then and now mm -hmm. uh, was very well done. Mm -hmm. like sometimes in novels and books, that's mm -hmm. hard to follow when they switch timelines like that. Mm -hmm. But in the comics, it was extremely well laid out. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Yeah, no, that's I good. I read more comics. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. So well, you definitely... Yeah on the mainland and you need a copy of Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, I'll hook you up. <laughs> yeah. you know. Excellent, thank you. You do go over there? I do go over there. My sister does live there, so I just take you okay. up on that. Yeah. yeah, she just needs to pick it up and yeah, yep. DM me. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Cool. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. Sure. Making friends! <laughs> <laughs> um, but one thing I, I found kind of cool, the difference between the comic and the show, was I spent a good chunk of the beginning of the show being like, what year is this? Well, that's like, actually yeah, something I was about to bring was, up. That was intentionally yeah, that was done. Things when they said the year, the day, like October 27th or 28th, it was like of this year. I was like, that's interesting. Yeah. yeah but it, then like, I kept thinking it was the 60s is the 60s. And then they were like, at one point, blah, blah, blah. Well, it mm -hmm. kind of breaks the fly. And it was like, oh, excuse me. So this is just set in a little town that looks like the 60s all the time where everyone acts like it's the 60s because you're courting and you're it's supposed to be these. kind of um set in a timeless zone so yeah. oh, um i wondered that and then it could be the today it could be the 60s it doesn't say it is not specified and it's supposed to be that way and they did that intentionally for the television well, show does have a my cousin has a um laptop in the tv show oh he does too yeah right. yeah yeah. 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 And this is the second episode. The kind of breaks the fly thing. I was like, well, it's definitely past the 80s. Then. Can we talk about how they had to kill a bat in the first episode? I wonder. Oh, my God. I thought, saw that and thought of you. I was like, oh, no. Yeah, I was like, seriously, I was like, this show better get good because this is not a good start for you got you with me. Like, seriously, you smush a bat right in like the first I 10 minutes of the show. And I honestly thought book it was to do it. Turn it into something else before she squished it. I was like, no. <laughs> Yeah, that was, hmm, that was something else, let's just say that. Um, but yeah, the the time, like, yes, the laptop thing is there, um, I, I missed that, I guess, kind of, I don't recall it, but, um, yeah, they, I did read somewhere that they were trying to, to, to sort of create sort of the timeless, um, sort of setting for it, so you wouldn't be like, oh, it's the 60s, or oh, it's this, so there's no, like, well, this is the attitudes of this time then, and this is the attitudes of that time then, you know, yeah, sort of thing. I liked it, I guess, comparing it to, if you guys have seen it, It Follows, mm -hmm. where there's these little bits of technology, and then other things are, like, straight out of the 80s, mm -hmm. and it gives you just this feeling of unease, not knowing when it's set, yep. not knowing how people should be act yep. acting or reacting. I thought yeah. it was really cool. Yeah, that's exactly it. Because like we could it's we rely so much on that follow back excuse of, well, it's because of the time that it was. Or they were raised in this time. It's a very easy way to excuse people's behavior and just to to write it off and to not deal with it. Um to deal with poor behaviors and and, and poor like things that aren't acceptable. Mm -hmm. um you know what um and so when you don't have like exactly like i said when you don't have that sort of line to draw and be like well okay that's why that is right and you have to just think about the fact that humans are inherently a lot of them shitty and they have shitty opinions and they hurt people and they hurt each other um, it makes it a lot di more difficult to swallow that pill because we don't like to think that about ourselves. We all like to think that we're inherently good people, which isn't true, it's in my opinion. True. Show also does a really good job, um, without spoiling anything, of everything is a fine line between good and evil. Mm -hmm. 
human good side and the yep. witchy bad side where like there's a lot of situations where moral decisions are being made mm -hmm. and it's like is there a right answer answer yeah the, and it's yeah. like no there's a lot of gray like <laughs> and, and like and she asks for direct answers sometimes and neither side can really give it to her so mm -hmm. you know this is a, a lot about the struggle is that that there's no right or wrong there's just what is right for you in the end sort of thing. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, so that's that's a little bit about that. Um, is, let's see. Uh, Anja, we whoa, what? We got deep. Yeah, well, sometimes it has to happen. <laughs> it has to happen. Um, Angelic, um, is there any yeah. sort of thing that stood out to you uh, in the first couple episodes that, um, you know, that, that you really... Uh, disliked. Um, well, one of the things that I really liked about the comics mm -hmm. was the backstory of the parents. Mm. Yeah, me too. And how like the dad married the mom, and because <laughs> Satan told her him to basically, and then and because he fell in love, mm -hmm. and then also how when she wouldn't give up the baby, he basically sent her to a mental facility and had. <laughs> random experiments done on her is what I took out of the comics. Yep. And I really like that kind of backstory that they did. Like in it and in the TV show, they just kind of said, Oh yeah, they died in a plane crash. Well, you are only on episode two, yes, so I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. Yeah. But I'm just kind of like, you want I more the comic right off the bat. They let you know what mm. happened with the parents. Mm, okay. Yeah, that's fair. And in the comics, Sabrina wasn't necessarily in on the knowledge no. of what the comic book says, but you, as the audience, you do know. Yeah, I, I like mm. that too. Oh, the fact that you you get <laughs> sorry, the cramp. Not a... Why can't I ever sit in a chair normally? <laughs> because your galaxy. Fair enough. This is why we're <laughs> friends. <laughs> it's all the gay in me. I swear. Um. Anyway. Um, what were we saying before my foot decided it was going to tie itself in a knot? Um, um as a viewer of the TV show, we oh, don't right, have right. the prescient knowledge of things. Well, oh, Sabrina, stories. Sabrina doesn't have the knowledge that they give the, the viewer or, or the reader, um, gamer cramps, um, uh, 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 they give the viewer or reader more knowledge into Sabrina's history than Sabrina has herself. Yeah. Yes, and that's something that you liked about it. Yeah. Oh. And I know you asked for dislikes, but... Yes. That's okay. Um, you I just want I'm more gonna... information about her parents in the show, is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. I do. Okay. But I'm sure I get that later on. All right. Might be interesting to revisit this once you guys have finished everything. Oh, I yeah. have, yeah, like, a, sure. once we're actually done. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone I'm in there. chat get caught up so we can all just talk yeah. about it. Yeah, the, well, maybe like, we'll, we'll revisit it maybe like in December or something once people yeah, have had time. I, I have two more episodes to go, but mm -hmm. I have so much I want to say that's going to I go, know, like, I really know. That's why I said I wanted to talk about the more surface. Yeah, yes. I appreciate um, that from both of you that have seen more. You. Yeah. Um, I just, yes, that's why. Thank you for no spoilers. <laughs> Get to, you know, a chance to talk about the more surface things, like you know, the cat doesn't talk, and you know, the casting, and 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 the representation, and things like that. And there are some things, yeah, yeah. There's some definite things uh, uh, with. I can't <laughs> okay. even say <laughs> <laughs> that are I think really important to talk about. Actually, yeah, and uh, there's no way to bring it up even a little bit. We so, also um, see more of Sabrina's powers in the comics than mm, in the show. Yeah, that's actually something that in the in the series entirely, there's really not a lot of magic, not too much. Aw, poop. I was here for the magic. <laughs> me too, Angelic, me too. Well, I mean, there's magic, but there's not a lot, I feel. Yeah. Like, it's it's it takes a back seat this season, I feel. I also want to talk, uh, if we get a chance uh -huh. next time, more yeah. about the... The way the kind of plot ends up shaped more into a creature feature Buffy the Vampire style thing. And I yeah. wonder if they're going to go more for that in the I, next season. I really hope so in a way. Because like with like a big bad that's sort of, you know, behind the whole thing to the end. And then like 
one thing sort of every time. Instead of like yeah. this big giant uh, plot wave that connects and if you miss an episode, you're effed. I just want, yeah, like I want an overarching plot <laughs> of like a big bad. And yeah. And I want my little uh, weekly my monsters of the week. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's exactly what I want. A lot. Give me more Buffy. Actually, yeah. we're going to get that. Anyway. I know. I'm actually really excited about it because it's not a reboot. Nope. Which, okay, people need to get over using this word reboot because nobody's using it right anymore. No. <laughs> and even if it is a reboot, like, I don't really care if it gets more people into something. Yeah, like, you know what? It was such a, a big thing for me growing up. And you know what? Kids, more kids need that. More kids need that kind of thing. Yeah. But to you bring know? it back to the, the Sabrina side yes. of things, I, I had a lot of worries about mm-hmm. how they were going to shape this TV show because I thought mm-hmm. it was going to get really Riverdale-esque. But at the same time, like, though... I certainly am not a huge fan of some aspects of the TV show compared Mm -hmm. to the comic. I still think that it's a good thing. Because I can sit here as a comics retailer and tell Mm -hmm. you that the Sabrina comics are selling like hotcakes now. We can't. No, you can't. We can't find them. Uh, We went Um, to multiple stores for Jamie. Yeah. um, Yeah, we're sold out, but we've got more coming in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, that that we go through them so fast now and they did reprints of the first issue just yeah. this one yeah uh for a dollar so what? anyone who, watched the show who wants to just check it out and see yeah. if they are gonna like it that's you know, awesome uh, and when that kind of thing happens where it's like yeah sure i just saw this show on netflix because it was halloween time and i wanted something a little bit spooky gets people into comic books like that may make it so that we get more sabrina comics coming out because we only yeah. have one volume or you know more stuff like van veronica or yeah. um i <laughs> would love there. some van veronica i it's really okay. would. yeah <laughs> okay what was like, van veronica uh, van veronica where veronica is a vampire yeah there's also what? jughead the hunger where jughead Sounds is a awesome. werewolf uh, mm-hmm. and these actual like, comics? Archie. Yes. Yeah. What? Oh, the the from beyond the grave. Oh, they're doing another one too. I can't remember. Thanks, baby. Called. Um, yeah. The uh, next time you come down, I will take you into Comic Row, where all the comic book shops are there downtown, and uh, yeah, we will. Well, I'll show you where they are. I keep trying to convince someone to uh, buy those, but she won't. Um, anyway, but yeah, there's another part in those miniseries coming out. I'm trying to see if the, no, that's RG 1941. Uh, <laughs> the new chapters, I think it's just about open. They might have some. Um, you oh, yeah, these are going to be a uh, miniseries and single issues. So they're going to be in a comic book store before chapters. Awesome. Six, six, six. Oh my God. Oh, yes. Wait, let me read this. Yes. Cheryl and Jason Blossom are a pair of seemingly normal kids in Riverdale. They're wealthy, popular, and likable. But they also harbor a deep, dark secret. One of the Blossom twins is the Antichrist. <laughs> Both want the title, and no one in Riverdale is safe. They're fighting each other for who gets to be the Antichrist, because of course they are. They're the Blossoms. Obviously. I love it. I love that's it. It's so perfect. And not, yeah. like, yeah, that's just perfect. Oh my god. I guess I'm gonna have to go to my local comic book store now. Yeah, I'm sign up for it. Tell them to order it ahead of time. Yes, it. always. If you hear about store, comic books coming open. out, go to your local comic book store and ask them to order it ahead of time because that makes such a difference to you getting more of that kind of stuff in the future. Because it's not based on what sells after they've ordered it; it's based on how much they order to start with. Yes. Yeah. Um, just to do a really quick PSA, mm-hmm. we do all our orders two months in advance. So right now I have a book here. And it says November. This is stuff coming out in January. So that's how far ahead we need to know that you guys like stuff. So anything you see, tell us ASAP so we can get our orders mm-hmm. right. Helps comic stores stay open. Helps comics not get canceled. Yeah. Et cetera. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So don't don't always just wait. Go down there. You know what? If it ends up that you can't get it. I mean, most comic book stores, they will pull things for you and start you a file. I had once four months of books in my file Ooh. because I went through a really tough financial point and they kept them there for me and I just chipped away buying them as I could. Because yeah, for the most part, yeah. people tell us ahead of time when yeah. I'm moving or yeah. I am having a hard time money wise or I'm just really yeah. busy and I can't make it in. No big yeah. deal. But yeah. uh, try to come get your stuff once a month. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Once a month. They ask you to do that, like, once a month or once a week or whatever. But, yeah, I just, I was just like, I can't. I'm so sorry. And they're like, it's yeah. fine. It's fine. My sister's fiance has a giant stack at our local comic book store. It's so funny. It's so wonderful. Are they coming out with more, Sabrina, than what I, you sent us? Or so, no? I don't know. How many volumes are out right now? There's one volume. I actually did check. It covers okay. the six issues I have here. So it's okay. five issues of plot, one of backstory about Salem. Okay. Um, they have yeah, um, They have not come out with anything since then. They had originally solicited, I think, seven through nine. And uh-huh. they all got canceled. But that doesn't mean that the series is canceled. It yeah. just means that if a comic doesn't come out uh, within a certain amount of time of being solicited... As comic book stores, we can be like, now, now, give us a credit. We want our money back. Yeah. Uh, or we can complain or whatever. And yeah. so they'll just cancel them instead. And then when they do have it ready, they will put yeah. it out again. So yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Okay. So um, I'll definitely let people know if I hear Yeah, anything. absolutely. I'm hoping that the popularity of this show will mean they'll go back even mm-hmm. more because yeah. the, the plot of this seems to differ very much so from mm-hmm. what the show mm-hmm. and uh, i hope that we can get two different stories yes more nice more yeah, like have the really grim dark comic because like the comic is much darker yes and then have the yeah. a little bit I more fluffy ready. <laughs> <laughs> oh excuse me yeah but that and afterlife with archie haven't come out in a long mm-hmm. time and veronica and um jughead yes Wonder. yeah so that that's a whole other like satisfy your cravings for all this sort of universe stuff you can you can go get check out those mini series or check out the arch in the afterlife series as, series as well um but yeah i think we should definitely come and revisit this maybe somewhere mid-december um if that works okay. for you ladies um so we can discuss yeah, sure. it without the spoilers and you guys have finished the show then so i'm not sitting here going and, J- and jenny's not going you know so um not that, yeah. not that, no, I told you guys, because I told you guys we weren't going to talk in, about it into too much detail because it's only been out for, like, two weeks. Yeah. So, I want to give people at least a month to watch it. It's only ten episodes. It's, like, a weekend's worth of watching. Um, it's very good, though. Very good. Prudence is a fucking queen. <laughs> and I'm 100% in love with her. She's gorgeous. She's evil but she has a really big heart as it turns out and i have so many thoughts i just want her to do bad things to me i just really want her to do bad things to me but i just want to say thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out again tonight and chatting about this i know it was a little tiptoey and like kind of hard to to walk around without the spoilers and everything but i appreciate it um i appreciate the last minute fill-ins angelic as usual We'll have to, but you'll be the one that's coming back for this in December forever. What do you mean, lewd? I, I said I'd be Prudence's um, familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm into it. I mean, I would too, in that I would right? protect her at the end of the year. I would totally protect right? her. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I, I, I would Dale die for Prudence. Badass. <laughs> I really honestly. Please. Yeah, no, it's 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 good. It's good. Um all right, um, um thank you everyone for hanging out and listening to us natter on and nerd out a little bit tonight about a TV show that we're very excited about, a comic book that we very much like and some other random things.